Hey, Frank Paris here. I've gotten some emails and some texts from people who have seen my remote control snow plow in action, and they wanted to know how it was made. So I'm basically gonna go over it real quick. I'll give you the quick 37 cent tour. Okay, this is a stainless steel 36 inch snow plow blade. That blade was from a snow plow shovel Okay, the stainless steel blade will last the last 36 inches. That I think I found on Amazon. Okay, that's connected to a system that I came up with. Okay, down here with a kind of a turn screw for lifting and lowering the, uh, the snow plow and a linear actuator, which is the motor that lifts and brings up the snow plow and brings it down. Now, uh, the base of this uh, unit is a wheelchair base. It is a wheelchair base, okay? And this particular wheelchair base was a pretty heavy duty wheelchair, okay? And it runs off 24 volt DC motors. That's why we have two 12 volt 35 amp batteries in these two compartments to run in wired 424 volt DC to run these motors, okay? So, and then let's look at the tires. The original wheelchair came with 10 inch tires with 10 inch hubs, okay, for a regular wheelchair. And what I did was, I'm gonna run over here real quick and show you. What I did was I took the 10 inch hubs, these hubs, okay, took the tire off the hub here and attached it to this tire, this bigger tire, which has a hub using carriage bolts so hub to hub you can see and now if you go back to what i was talking about here you have a bigger fatter tire which is going to give you more traction in the snow and what i did is i found these chains these chains go to a a, a snow plow uh, uh, tire like this okay and um, they are on there for more traction. And because these batteries are heavy and the base, this wheelchair base is heavy, I'm gonna get some really good push power when it comes to pushing snow. And this pushes around 12 inches of snow. Wet snow is from maybe four or five inches. If I'm lucky, four or five inches, six inches maybe. Okay, but I, I, I use this for basically light stuff. So here we are. Okay, this goes up and down by remote control. These, uh, the wheelchair base goes forward, back, turns left 360, turns right 360. Okay, by remote control, a hobby remote control, by the way. Okay, and there's a, an electronic housing case here that holds the electronics. I've taken it off, it's over here, because I want to redo it, maybe use a, a bigger one, because I had all of the electronics pretty crowded in there. And that's basically what goes on with the unit. Now, if we go inside, we're going inside, we're going inside, we're going inside. Let's see what the electronics are. The electronics. Okay, so we have a motor control board which, which controls the, the, um, the wheelchair. Forward, back, left, right, 360. This is by Dimension Engineering. It's their biggest unit. And then this second motor control board by uh, Dimension Engineering also is a, a, a two-channel unit. This is a four-channel unit. And this two-channel unit helps the linear actuator go up and down, which brings the blade up and down. These are terminal blocks, which hook up to the uh, battery pack to give a number of uh, different components power. All right, this is a converter that takes the 24 volts, changes it to 12 volts, so that the lighting system, which happens to be this one light right here, uh, and I have a front light too, uh, can operate only on 12 volts. So that's what the converter does. And that's a DC to DC converter. Alrighty, and that's basically all we have to this. Oh, sorry. We have the receiver, okay, which comes out of the 12 volt unit. And that, uh, and that receiver, uh, I'm sorry, it comes out of the, uh, the uh, motor control board unit. So we can use the remote control, hobby remote control. Oh boy, I'm talking and I'm not getting anywhere. 
the hobby remote control controls the motor control board, the four channel dimension engineering uh, unit via the receiver. Okay, and this is also connected to the receiver, so uh, to the uh, receiver here. And then the hobby remote control looks something like this. This is kind of looks at, and that's how that works, okay? Transmitter to receiver to motor control boards. And that gives me the linear actuator, which is that guy, and the motor control board that controls the forward, back, left, and right of the uh, the uh, snow plow. That's what that gives me. And uh, I'm trying to do this all in about 30 seconds. But uh, you can see, oh, there's one more here. This guy also hooks up to the receiver over here. And what that guy does, it's a single channel uh, um, board that will turn on and off the lights. Okay, so that also hooks up to the receiver and connects with the transmitter here, the hobby transmitter. So basically what we have is most of, if not all of the components, other than the on-off switches, there's a few on-off switches that have to be put on to turn different things on, like the power and that kind of thing. So you get the idea now how one of these things is put together. It's not rocket science, but it does get a little involved, but not to the point where you can't figure out what to do. And there are a lot of guys up there online who are making remote control lawnmowers and snow plows who use the same components I do. And you're probably going to wind up coming up there and doing some research. The big thing is you want to run your, your remote control snow plow off 24 volts, not like your lawnmower. If you build a remote control lawnmower, you can run that off 12 volts if you want. But uh, the 24 volts, okay, even works better on lawnmowers. Uh, and you do need to, like I said, you need a voltage inverter to take the 24 volts down to power anything that has that's 12 volts. If you want to add lights or you want to add some kind of a, a 12 volt electronic thing to go on the snow plow, remote control lawnmower, you want to bring it down. You don't want to hook anything that's 12 volts DC, runs off 12 volts DC to 24 volts, from 24 volts without, you'll blow it up. So DC to DC converters are online. On Amazon, they're also online in various different electronic stores and things like that. And basically, that's it. Okay, dimension engineering on the motor control boards, hobby rem remote control transmitter receiver. They're online on eBay or Amazon, whatever. And uh, this uh, one-time switch to turn on the lights, that's also up there at uh, dimension engineering or at the hobby shops. And uh, basically, th those are my recommendations for building your own remote control lawnmower or snowplow in this case. To be continued.